Okay, here we're going to look at nucleotides. So for those playing the home game, we'll recognize these as the monomeric unit or the building block for our nucleic acids. We see them listed right here. Um, our, we're going to define our pyrimidines and our purines. Our uracils, thymine, cytosine, adenine, and guanine will make up our nucleotides. So looking specifically, our nucleic acids. A nucleotide is composed of three parts. One is a nitrogenous base, and this is a nitrogen base containing a carbon nitrogen ring. So we see the nitrogen is located here. Carbon would be located here, here, and here. This indicates a double bond between these two carbons. So one of the components of our nucleic acids is our nitrogen-containing base that is linked to a five-carbon sugar, which is called a pentose sugar. And this is ribose in RNA, which stands for ribonucleic acid, and this sugar would be a deoxyribose in DNA. And we'll see a comparison between those two in a moment. Then we have a phosphate group here, the PO4 uh, molecule. You'll notice the oxygens have negative charges to them. This is what gives um, nucleic acids their negative charge on their backbone, because here we have all the oxygens creating that negative charge. This is kind of that base C located here again, and that's what's causing it to have a negative charge. So when we do electrophoresis, they'll be pulled towards a positive charge. So I said here, can we spot the difference between deoxyribose and ribose? Looking specifically at that pentose sugar uh, there. Well, if you look at it a little bit, and you know deoxy means without oxygen, you know so this is missing something. And we see that indicated right here. Our ribose has an oxygen, and the deoxy is, means without oxygen. So therefore, that does not have oxygen bound to its sugar. Now, looking over here, we have our purines located up here. The purines are a double ring nitrogen base. They are classified as adenine and guanine, have these double ring structures. Now, on this side, here on, over here, we have pyrimidines. And these are a single ring nitrogen base. And cytosine, which will be present in both DNA and RNA. Thiamine will only be present in DNA. And uracil will only be present in RNA. So when we look at our nucleotides, that can help us identify what particular nucleic acid we are looking at. Lastly here, a pairing of nu nucleotides. Nucleotides bond uh, between DNA strands. They're what we call complementary strands. They are not identical. There's always a purine linked with a pyrimidine by way of hydrogen bonds, as we see here. A binds with T, T binds with A, G binds with C, and C binds with J. These are complementary, not identical strands. When we look down one side of the DNA, adenine, A binds with T, we're going to be a complementary thiamine on the other side. Same thing here, when we see a guanine, there will be a complementary cytosine on the other side when we're looking at particular DNA because we see thiamine here. Hopefully that helps describe the monomeric units for nucleic acids.